our tunes get too much, you guys, I'll probably turn them down. But we're going to be leaving the music on for this time. This is we want to have some little bit of a background music going today because it's very, very informal. We're just uh, chatting with you guys, talking tequila, talking real estate. So without further ado, this is the bottle that we were talking about. This is the Gran Centenario Añejo Cristalino. Just hit the shelves. Great bang for your buck. It's about $80, a little bit over 80 bucks. Haven't tried it yet. Don't know what the hell it tastes like. So we're going to find out together. But it comes in this really cool little box. It has a really beautiful bottle so you can fade from green to white. Presentation is everything, guys. If it's not appealing, you won't drink it, right? So as you guys can see, it's all sealed up. Unfortunately, we don't have a seal on this one. I'm going to see if I can actually find this in Mexico and bring one back. But usually I say no seal, no deal. But today we actually don't have a Mexican bottle. We have a bottle here that was actually imported to the United States. So let's go ahead and pop this baby open. And we'll let you guys know what's going on with this bottle right here. Right here, pop that seal, open it up. Smells good. See if it tastes good. So always get our handy dandy little agave shot glass to go with the tequila. So let's go ahead and pour up a little shot right here. All right, guys, salute. I know I'm not gonna drink it straight, it's too early for that. I know it's a happy hour somewhere, but for us, we got work to do, y'all, but we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it chill. So for those of you joining us, thank you so much. This is Tequila and Transactions, episode number 26 now. So I appreciate all you guys for joining in us. Today, we're actually live on Facebook, live on Instagram. We're gonna be talking real estate, talking tequila, give you guys a little update on what the market's doing right now. But if you guys have any questions along the way, go ahead and drop, pretty much drop anything in the chat. We're gonna be here answering your questions. I'm monitoring Facebook right now, also monitoring um, the Instagram as well. So let's make sure I haven't missed anybody on IG. All right, no questions just yet. Everyone's out. I think everyone's on IG right now. But what we're reviewing right now, guys, we're reviewing this new Gran Centenario Añejo Cristalino that just hit the show. So if you guys haven't seen it, I'll let you guys right, know right now if you should pick it up. Like I said, it's about an $80 bottle. Uh, good bang for your buck, uh, especially when it's an Añejo and, and Cristalino right now is very, very popular. She's getting very expensive. So let's go ahead and give this a little taste test. As you guys know, breathe in through your nose, drink, exhale through your mouth. Best way to drink tequila, get the flavor, doesn't get that much of a burn. It's the proper way of doing it. So, salud, cheers. All right. A little sweet, which is expected of a Cristalino, but it's very, very good. Would I buy it? I already did, but will I buy it again? Yes, I will. This is an awesome bottle. Looks beautiful. I'm probably gonna display it up in my my bar when I'm done. But this one's definitely a really good drinkable tequila. If you guys know me, you know, you guys know I always like to put, put a little something in my drink. I don't put nothing crazy. I don't put juice or soda. I put a little bit of sparkling water. Today we got a little bit of a lime spritzer. We got a little bit of a uh, lime spritzer here. So from Trader Joe's. Oh, it's super, super good. Yeah, so what I usually like to do, you guys, I usually get tequila, sparkling water, call it a day, you know? So the main reason is because you just want to taste the tequila. You don't want to over dilute it, add some soda, add juice. That stuff is not gonna, it's not gonna help with the flavor profile. So I always say, keep it simple. Um, in Mexico, that's the way we drink it. We drink it with just plain old sparkling water. And uh, I usually do a little splash of Coke for color and for a little bit of sweetness, but everyone's different. I don't make my palomas anymore uh, with squirt because I feel like that's what's been giving me those hangovers. And that's what's been making me groggy the next day, all that sugar. 
So essentially what I do is like to keep it simple. Like I said, a little bit of sparkling water, a little bit of tequila and call it a day. So, but yes, I agree. I'd probably give this bottle about an eight and a half. This is the beautiful Centenario Cristalino Añejo. So my review is eight and a half, guys. Pretty uh, generous on my scale. I'm really, really, uh, I would say picky when it comes to tequila. I don't always give everything eights and nines. Really, really hard to give something a 10. So definitely recommend it. Go out and buy this if you're looking to impress your guests or get something different and new. It's beautiful. I have a little, the little angel, the Centenario angel right on the engraved on the top here. Like I said, it has that beautiful fading color where it goes clear to green at the top there. If you see it in the stores, it comes in this beautiful box right here. Let me put it back together so you guys can see it. But a uh, make a beautiful gift. You'd be the talk of your party. So I would definitely say that this is a great product. Definitely going to be buying it again. Uh, this bottle may be gone by the end of this weekend. Who knows? But um, definitely highly recommend that you guys pick this up. It's a really great bottle. It's different compared to... 1942 it's different compared to all those all those different kinds of, of, of tequilas just because of the fact that this has uh essentially been distilled one last time to remove all that coloring um so it comes out a lot smoother i would say so for me i'm more of a fan of cristalinos because it's a little bit smoother but i mean i love añejos my i mean i love all tequila don't get me wrong but i lean more towards añejos i like the age flavoring and now more recently the cristalinos have really taken over so you guys have questions along the way, let us know. But cheers. Appreciate you guys very much for joining us. We're talking tequila. We're talking real estate. Um, but yeah, we just reviewed the new Centenario Cristalino, Gran Centenario Cristalino. So this is a beautiful bottle. They actually make a Gran, Crist uh, a Gran Centenario Añejo, which is a little bit over $100. Uh, they used to carry it in Costco. I don't know if they carried it anymore, but this is a great bottle to have add to your collection, bring to a party, gift it. Uh, I will say that it's very, very tasty. It's a little sweet, um, but definitely one that I highly recommend that you guys pick up. So like I said, I gave this an eight and a half out of 10, which is very, very generous. But uh, ultimately, um, overall a great bottle. I definitely appreciate it a lot. So this one is definitely making it to the wall of fame behind me. All right, y'all. So just a little quick tidbit on real estate. If you guys have any questions about real estate, let us know. Drop it in the chat. We're going to be answering them. But ultimately, I just want to give you guys some information um, about what's going on right now. So we are seeing buyers re-enter the market. It's getting busier. Uh, we're seeing folks come on to, into the market and ultimately just being um, a little bit more conscious about what's going on. So interest rates have gone up. They're about 5 to 5.5% 5 .5 right now, depending on how much money you're putting down, depending on your pretty much your risk, the risk factor um, of you being a borrower. So it all depends. It's, it's a weighted analysis of, of you as a borrower, like for a bank, they're always looking at a few different factors. They're not just looking at how much money you make, they're looking at how much money you're putting down. They're also looking at your credit, your income, your spending habits, that's income ratios, all that good stuff. So they're looking at all these individual factors and weighing them together to see the risk factor of you being a borrower and seeing your ability to borrow. So essentially, a lot of folks right now are seeing benefits putting down more percentage, a higher percentage. You can still get away with doing 5% down, 3% down. Uh, the lowest you can do right now is 3% down if you're not doing government sponsored loans or a down payment assistance program. Right now, Cal Hafa has some amazing programs, little to no money down. It's a state sponsored program. I've closed multiple deals with Cal Hafa in my career. So definitely, if you guys are looking into doing um, little to no money down or doing down payment assistance, it's out there for you, but I will tell you that there's strings attached. Uh, typically, more than anything, uh, the requirements are you have certain income restrictions, um, certain credit requirements, uh, all that good stuff comes into play. So you just want to make sure that you're weighing all your options available to you uh, and just being very transparent with your lender on what you'd like to achieve. So right now, we're seeing a lot of people getting into homes right now, getting price reductions, getting credits. Uh, right now, sellers are quote unquote desperate to sell. A lot of inventory has come onto the market. You're seeing a lot more houses available. What's up, everybody? Cheers, cheers, cheers. It's, uh, it's tequila time somewhere, but for us, it's tequila Tuesday. So we're popping bottles over here, talking about the Gran Centenario Cristalino, the one that just hit the shelf. Beautiful bottle. I give this an eight out of eight and a half out of 10. It's a little sweet, but 
does the trick. It's super, super good. I'm loving it right now. All I did was put a little bit of uh, some lime uh, Trader Joe's sparkling water. Shout out to Trader Joe's. And this shit's amazing. And uh, so ultimately, guys, going back to real estate. So if you're looking into entering the market, if you know anybody who wants to get into the market, right now is a great time. And I'll tell you guys why. Because if you've been on the fence thinking about it, right now more than ever has been has been great for buyers because this is everything that a buyer has asked for. They've asked for more inventory. They've asked for less competition. They've asked for sellers to be more lenient and, and provide credits and concessions and all that good stuff. And you're able to do that now. All of my clients that have gotten contract in these last couple of weeks all have either had the price reduced, have had credits, have had to go up against little or no competition. So it's a great time to buy, buy a second home as well. Interest rates are at five to five and a half percent, but you are still able to qualify based on the amount of uh, down payment you're going to be putting on, putting in, um, and based on the programs available to you. Um, also, there is a lot of programs out there that you can still get under a 4% interest rate or right around a 4% interest rate. But again, these programs are more lenient because of the fact that you're not having that much, uh, there's not that much of a risk factor because you're putting down more, more cash. So limiting the debt, the loan to value ratio. So as you put down more money, obviously there's less risk involved for the bank. So I would say that uh, there is a lot of great programs out there. So call us, reach out to us if you have any questions about those programs. There's a lot of great first time home buyer programs out there as well. So, but yeah, I would, I would just say right now, guys, if you're, if you know somebody's looking to buy, if you're trying to buy another home or, you know, you've been on the fence, I would say that this is the best time for you because of the fact that we're having so much uh, inventory come on. There's so much houses to choose from. Um, sellers are, are doing everything they can to get buyers in the door, offering credits, offering closing cost credits, um, also offering money towards uh, buying down your interest rate as well. So those are all some great options for you all if you're looking to purchase. If you're a seller right now, if you're looking to sell your home, We'll say we have to be a lot more strategic on how we present your home, how we get your home ready. So it's all about the three P's. It's all about price promotion and um, price promotion and preparation. So we have to make sure the house is extremely well prepared. We have to make sure that we price it right and that we're promoting that house as much as much as possible. So um, but sellers, it is still a great market to sell. You just have to be very understanding that it's not the same market. It's going to take a little longer to sell. Um, but ultimately, we're not going to have the 20, 30 offers for you that we once had. The market may shift back. We don't know. Everything is changing every single day, especially because of inflation, everything that's going on here in the U.S. But I will say that usually when there's an uncertain time for something to happen and everyone running away from that, similarly to what happened in 2020, right before the market took off, I would say that might be a good time for you to think about buying a home. And then the best time to buy a home is when you're ready, right? That's what I always tell my clients. The best time to buy a home is when you're ready. So it's not up to us. It's when you're ready. So when you give us a call and you say, hey, I'm ready to jump in, let's make it happen. But if you're thinking about it, just call us. We're happy to go through everything with you and let you understand what's going on in the market. But ultimately, just want to uh, just let you guys know that there's opportunities out there and we're here to help you along the way. So the market's been... I would say extremely interesting these last two years. Everything has been going up and up and up and up. Uh, offers through the roof. Everything in the neighborhood's going up and up and up. So you're talking about pricing going up, offers are up, competitions up, and now everything's starting to really plateau. We're starting to see more as more houses come on. Buyers are kind of exiting the market, so that means a much more even keel market. And at this point, it's much more favorable for the buyers. So that's what I'm saying, buyers get in there. Let's get you started. Let's have a conversation. We're always happy to help. We're here for you if you need anything. And uh, ultimately, if you know anybody, give them a call and know, hey, man, this is probably the right time for you to jump in. Or, hey, you know, miss, hey, dude, hey, whatever, like your friends, your family, whoever it is, call your mom, your aunt, your cousin, your sister, whoever it is, let them know that this is the perfect time for them to jump in the market just because there's so much great things going on for buyers right now. It's just extremely buyers. Um, it's a favorable market for buyers. So, uh, but back to tequila, that's what everybody wants to talk about, right? So we're sipping on this Centenario right here, this Gran Centenario Cristalino. I mean, I think it's, it's getting better as I drink it. So, uh, but this is a great bottle. Just picked this one. I wanted to review with you guys personally, 
because I saw it on the shelves. I'm like, man, that thing looks cool. So I picked it up, picked two of them up, actually picked one up, gifted one to my cousin. And today we're actually, we unbottled it and we tasted it with you guys, with our friends and family, all you uh, tequila and transaction supporters appreciate you guys very much for jumping on. So right now we're just chatting it up. We're talking real estate. We're talking tequila. So if you guys have questions, drop them in the chat. We're going to be on here for another about five more minutes and uh, ultimately just going to be talking about what you guys want to talk about. So um, I will say that when I jumped into the real estate industry, I was waiting for something like this to happen. I was waiting for our buyers to have better opportunities and, and just ultimately just uh, not go up against so much competition. Right. But to be honest with you guys, it's market has been changing like crazy every single day. Um, something new, something different is happening. So we just have to stay on top of everything and just be uh, more better educated so that we can help our clients in the system to reach their goals. So that's what we're here to do. Um, we love to do, we love what we do. So that's why we're out here talking tequila, talking real estate with you guys, because it's something that we're extremely passionate about. And uh, we're just here to help families and, you know, I have some great news. I got two clients to contract this, this Monday. So back to back and both of those clients were able to get in. Um, we were able to get in right, right when the price reduction started to happen, something that they weren't able to do months ago. So I will say that the, it's a great time for buyers to get into to homes right now, just because the competition has started to go away. And uh, even my clients before that, I was able to get them concessions on their property. So what, what that means is I was able to negotiate for credits up front, which is amazing. Not many times do you see credits uh, being given by sellers. So um, which I would say is, is an extremely great opportunity for buyers out there to take advantage of what's going on in this market. Um, a lot of people will say, oh, it's probably the worst time to get in, but I would say you, if you're buying the home, you're not buying the mortgage rate, right? So mortgage rates up, go up and down all the time. Um, I have a lot of, uh, contacts in, in the mortgage industry that tell me that next year rates are going to get better. We don't know if that's true or not, right? Everything changes on the day-to-day -day basis, but rates will go up and down as, you know, you know, depending on how the bond market does. And another question that I've had lately is what the hell is the Fed doing? Why they keep raising the rate? Well, they are raising the, the interest rate. They're not raising the mortgage rate, guys. So the Fed is actually raising their federal funds rate to combat inflation. So it's all against to combat inflation. It has nothing to do with the housing market. Um, but what I will tell you is that the mortgage industry, the mortgage um, interest rate follows the bond market a little bit more closely. So if you guys kind of want to see how that's shifting, I would say focus more on the bond market, see where those rates are going. And that's where, where you know, you're going to get a much more accurate kind of analysis of, of where the mortgage interest rates are going. So we should start to see interest rates start to level off. I don't think they're going to continue to go up. People say, oh, they're going to go up above 7%. I don't believe that's true. I can't be wrong. I've been wrong before and I've been right before. So I told everybody that 2020 was the year to buy and I was completely right. And um, I know a lot of people that made a lot of money in a short amount of time. So I would say that, you know, just keep, uh, keep your eye on the market and you to surround yourself with well-educated people, people who know their industry better than anybody, professionals who are going to assist you. So I would just always say to make sure that you have that, that support around you. So um, what else can I tell you guys? Uh, other than that, um, we got some, a couple more months of, well, I'd say about a month more left of, of summer. Right. And then we're going right into to fall and into the winter and uh, holiday time is usually the worst time to buy or sell a home. I would say, excuse me, the, the winter time or essentially, uh, the holidays are the worst time to sell a home because there's not many buyers out there, but buyers, it's probably the best time for you just because, um, people who are serious about selling are going to be selling. And if you're really serious about buying, you can pretty much get a solid deal uh, and negotiate some concessions, kind of like what we're seeing right now, right? This is kind of a little, little bit of uh, an anomaly. It's an outlier, I would say. Uh, we don't necessarily see the market slow down so much as far as buyers and everything in August. Like, well, actually, we do see the market start to slow down in August, but not as much as it has at the end of, you know, into July, into August. It's more so August into September. So we are seeing a little bit of a shift here. Last year, it was a completely different market. People were still buying these last couple of years, no matter what. So I would say that right now, there's a lot of opportunities, like I said, that are continuing to favor buyers. Sellers, like I said, it's still a good time for you. You just have to be very strategic about what you're doing. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of good things going on right now for buyers. So I would say call us, listen, if you have any questions, we're here to help you guys. And then we're going to bring it back right back to tequila. So 
appreciate you guys again for joining us. Like again, we uh, reviewed this beautiful bottle here, this Gran Centenario Cristalino Añejo. So beautiful bottle, see it fades from green to white here. It's a beautiful presentation. Got the little angel right here at the top, the, the Centenario Angel. You guys will know the Centenario is a commemorative coin in Mexico, um, a gold coin that was commemorated for the 100 years of Mexico. So the this bottle was made after to mimic and, and pay homage to Centenario. So um, just overall beautiful bottle, great gift, great tequila. I would say I'm giving it an eight and a half out of 10, which like I said, I'm very stingy when it comes to giving ratings, but overall a great bottle. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Appreciate you guys for joining us and talking a little bit of real estate. And uh, without further ado, cheers, guys. Salute. We'll let you guys go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. Salute. And uh, wish you guys all the best. Thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Shoot us a DM. Give us a call. Shoot us a text. We're always here to help you guys. So once again, appreciate you guys very much. Have a great one. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. Thanks, guys. See ya.